This is a thermal compound replacement on an early 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. Not to be confused with the 2016 MacBook Pros, as they still got some usable ports. Flipping the MacBook, we get access to the bottom panel, where we find 10 pentalobe screws, two of which are 2.3mm, and the rest 8 are 3mm long. You might want to keep those separate. After undoing all 10 screws, the bottom panel comes right off. We now have access to the internal system components. First things first, we need to unplug the battery. Now we get our first glimpse of the CPU, the GPU, the two asymmetrical fans, and the tiny heat exchanger. That's alright, size doesn't really matter. You can also see the system memory, the platform hub controller, the wireless card, and the proprietary SSD. There are 10 Torx T5 screws, 4 of different lengths. As shown, they need to be unscrewed to remove the cooling assembly. Once done, the cooling assembly should come right off. Be extra careful, as this thing is more fragile than my emotions. Now the fun part. We get to remove the old thermal paste off the bare dies. Note, there are no integrated heat spreaders on those BGA chips. Using 90% plus alcohol is recommended to remove any residue of the dyes. The process should be repeated again for the cooling assembly. Now if you think Trump is controversial, then you should google thermal paste application. I'm applying piece size shape to both the CPU and the GPU. I however like my thermal paste like I like my peanut butter. Spread. This is an optional step, and should not make a difference in thermal performance, but meh. I'm using the Noctua NTH1 Thermal Compound. It's a very competent compound, if you catch my drift. Now we gently slide back the cooling assembly placing it over the corresponding screw holes. The outer two screws should be tightened first, then move to the CPU and GPU blocks. Now place back the rest of the screws, but don't tighten them just yet. Make sure every screw is in its right position, or you might get screwed. Now that the screws are placed, start tightening them up, but without applying too much force, as you could break the PCB underneath. Reconnect the power and screw back the bottom panel. And in theory, you should have a cooler running MacBook. But if all things go south, the 2016 MacBooks aren't really that bad. Thanks for watching.